Hey my Basil babes, I hope you're having a fabulous day and it's really up to you on how your day is going to be. And for my, just like for my birthday, I decided that it was going to be a good day and I had a really great time. Thank you for everybody who sent all the love and showed me so much love and sent messages. It was just so awesome. You really make me feel special. So now I'm off to a meeting um, that I have to go to. And then from that meeting, I have to run back home, change my clothes and be on mommy duty to do my daughter's hair for a performance. I have not eaten anything. It's almost one o'clock. And in the vegan world, trying to eat on a run is not the easiest thing to do, but I cannot be late for this meeting. So I'll have a glass of water and maybe grab some crackers and chow down when I get back. Talk to you soon. Well, I'm done with that. Now off to go home, change clothes, and on to the next task. That was fun. It's one of those things, don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. I knew it was just um, a go-see to see if they had something. A full-time job, the mommy job. I always got to pack it. Stretch marks everywhere. <laughs> That's my resume, stretch marks everywhere in the air. I got a stretch mark here, a stretch mark there, stretch marks everywhere, a stretch mark here, here. <laughs> ah. get a sip of water change my clothes now I'm about to be out I'm like two minutes late right now I'm so hungry I still haven't eaten anything besides that half a peanut butter sandwich okay I gotta go do hair maybe I can eat later over who was gonna go past the stop sign. She won, I went first. But I'm sweating, and I'm not gonna say it's because it's a hot flash. I'm not even owning that, okay? Don't make me hurt you. Because I'm rushing and it gets hot when you're rushing and stuff, okay? All right, I know my daughter, she's gonna be calling me any minute. Where are you? You gotta have it. You know, you yelling like that is not gonna make me get there any faster. So take a chill pill. Ooh, that just burns my biscuits when the kids constantly call or text you, text you, text you, thinking that that's gonna get you there faster. No, what's gonna get you is irritated. Okay. At least the school isn't too far. So. I'm running to school. full-time mom, a single mom, is sometimes tough than a full-time job. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, going. Come on. Good. Now I gotta walk all the way down the hallway to try to do hair. The kids don't really appreciate how parents go above and beyond for things. They just don't. And it's hard sometimes, but we do it. Anyway, okay, so I get here to the school and 
now they're not ready after I did all that brushing. So now I'm sitting on their stage as the kids eat their lunch. And then my daughter sends me a text message. Get this. You know, I rushed to get here, rushed from my um, little meeting I had earlier. And I was had that little hot flash moment in the car because, you know, it was because it was hot. And my daughter said, can you go back home and get me some lotion? Little girl, if I go back home, you won't even get your hair done. What nerve do these kids have to tell me to go back home, get in my car, use my gas, go back home and get her some lotion? Does that even sound right? I see you better ask one of your little friends for some lotion. I know they get ashy too. I already did, well, ask some more. Ask the principal for some lotion. I know they got some lotion somewhere. Put some hand sanitizer on your legs. You okay? What nerve. I tell you, these kids. So Sydney has to have show hair. And they have to have a specific bun. They have to have a specific part on the left side. Why the left side? Because that's the side of your heart? Mm -mm. Huh, Sydney? <laughs> I don't know. What I like to do from time to time is to get my children up. And my son is in the bathroom, so he doesn't know I'm in his room. Let's see what happens when he gets back. I hope he hurries up because I don't want to be in here a long time. And I've waited. I've waited. I've waited before. Long time waiting to scare my kids. It's just something I like to do. Do you scare your children? Tell me about it. What do you do so I can do it in my next video? Oh my gosh, you need to hurry up. So, <clears throat> I'm going to add it to my to-do list of what to do when you want to do it to your kids. What is he watching? Some Spanish on TV? Mm -hmm. Although it probably wasn't mm -hmm. her for his tale to read some subtitles. Because, you know, mm -hmm. my kids don't like to read. I'm sorry they don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe I done did something wrong as a single mom, but they don't want to read. They'll do their homework, but to pick up a book and read it because they feel like it? Mm-mm. They ain't doing that. Not how we would take magaz magazines to the bathroom. Now people take their phones. They don't take magazines because you know that would require some reading. So he does uh, phones. I can't, I can't front. Sometimes I'm guilty of that myself. <laughs> Catch up on the latest on Facebook. Like, what? She got a new man this week? Like, what? So, I'm stuck in the corner in his room behind the door. He's not going to be expecting this at all. Because I haven't scared him in a minute. I also said I was gonna drug test him too, just to see. Mm-hmm. I said you will never know when it's coming, sucker. I wanna know what you're doing when you out there doing stuff. We out there doing stuff and I can't find you. What you doing? I'ma find out. I pee in this cup. Mm-hmm. Two hours later.
have a machine you need to put away. Clinton, go wash your hands with soap! Yo, you need to go wash your body because he done touched all over and nasty. I am thoroughly tired after ripping and running all day. Kid needs to go here. Kid needs to go there. Everything about what the kids need to do. You know, I still haven't eaten. No, nope. I had a little frozen little um, Amy's burrito. Bean and bean. Bean and beans wrapped around a tortilla. And, but I'm hungry. And this is what happens when us parents put our kids first. And I remember when my kids were little, I would eat standing up. So I have three kids, all 18 months apart, so it was almost like I had triplets. There's this backstory behind that, but. So right now, everything I just wanna eat. So I came home, I made some Brussels sprouts, I made a little bit of gravy, threw some mushrooms in there, some vegetable gravy, I made some peas. I wanted white rice today, I didn't want the brown rice. I made, I even made black rice, come on. I've earned some white rice, you know? Today, I wanted white rice. Now, I'm about to make me some guacamole because that's how I'm feeling, so. All right, let me hook up this guacamole real quick because I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I'm not very nice. I can hear those kids upstairs too. But then sometimes they come down and then take the stuff off my plate. And you know, I'm like, that, that baby's hungry, huh? That baby's hungry. Not today. Let him try. Let him try to eat you off my plate today. I'm not happy right now. I, I am sweating so much in this kitchen, but let me tell you, this guacamole is so good and it's simple. I don't like tomato on my guacamole. I don't like cilantro, but I want to hurry up and eat it before the kids hear me crunch. Mm -mm. Be down with her. They get him in crunchy knees. Okay, let me hurry up before they hear I'm hungry and I'm about to go sit in the pantry. job is never done I'm just happy I got a chance to eat and let me tell you that guacamole was a yum and me and I'm telling you like clockwork they came down those stairs and finished off the guacamole all right only in Basil's world I'll see you guys next time I gotta sweep the floor the kids have been studying all night it's the least I can do to sweep the floor as they prepare for bed they're all exhausted and I'm super proud of them today all right until next time See you later.